Hello, Lola's. So guess who is here? Look at my baby girl. I'm so excited. Don't worry, guys. I know she's sitting far away, but I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to also tell you what I think I should name her. I'm almost certain that I'm going to go with this name, but mm, it may change. It may not, but I think I really do like names Pebbles. Now, her hair is really messy, and I um, did it purposely. I spiked it up like that because when she slept last night, I put her in her spot, and I put a blanket over her so she didn't get cold, and then I, like, spiked her hair up so she had that little spiky hair peeking out over the covers. Um, so I will um, actually, I'm going to zoom in for you guys. And show you guys her. Let me get a little closer. So you guys can see her lovely little face. I'll turn her around so you guys can see. She's just so gorgeous. I'm really excited. You know, sometimes you step out there and like she was not cheap at all. Um, so I was kind of nervous and I don't normally, I'm usually very scared to buy overseas, especially if I haven't ever dealt with artists before. So, but I took a chance and it was quick and, and, and easy transaction. No, no problem. Ship easy. Um, I did have one scare because my tracking at one point said, picked up by an individual and I'm like I didn't pick her up and, and so I went to freaking out but then um I called and verified and confirmed that she was there so she was there so but anyway um that is her she's so cute and um everybody know I have Ziggy and Ziggy is beautifully done by another one of my um favorite artists as well um, their paint style is totally, not totally, totally different, but yeah, kind of totally different. Um, so I love them both. Um, both artists are amazing in their own uh, way. I wanted to show you guys this little cup thing, though. I like that it's in a different language. The, the cover, it's like I was going to open it and I was like, I don't know. But it's got a nipple in there. Hang on. See? And I love when they, the bottles have that extra cap. This little cap thing here. Because I don't have to worry about the sealing as much if I just use that cap and put the nipple on top. I think I'll be able to still do it that way. I'm not sure. I haven't opened it yet. Um, she's... It's like... I don't know how to explain this, but I did run her outside yesterday. It was kind of cloudy a little bit when I took her outside, but she looked extremely real um, outside too. Um, but I don't know how to explain this. The artist did lots of work on her. Not a whole lot of extra like mottling and stuff like that. Um, that is vigilant when you... I don't know how to how to explain it. When you take a glance at her, she just looks like a baby skin. But as you get really closer, you can see the details in her, and it's very subtle. So I don't know that I'll be able to pick that up on camera. Um, she is not overly stated in any type of way. It's like, it's simple. Simple, but not simple. Like me as an artist, I know that what this artist did takes skill. Someone else that might look at look at it at first, you know, right off, be like, oh, well, it's not a whole lot of this or that. But people who paint will know that it's very hard to accomplish what this lady accomplished in her. And she, she has many, many colors in her. And if anyone's followed me um with my collecting i love when i buy a caucasian baby to have tons of color in them and when i say color just different um 
different colors within their their painting anyway but she does have beautiful veining um very underneath the skin she does have beautiful modeling the details on her is far from amazing actually to me um so i'm not complaining you know you know when you first buy a baby and you spend you know more than you normally spend like on a reborn or whatever it is you go to thinking like oh my god is it worth it is it worth it um i will say she's worth it she's definitely worth it um she has her eyes are super realistic um i love the way she did her eyelashes like i just really love her and i don't mind taking her shoes and stuff off I, you guys know i don't like my babies in a whole lot of clothes but i thought i'd show you guys her dressed up i actually put this on her last night because um i wanted to see for myself she did have bows in her head did i tell you guys i wanted to name her pebbles i think i want to go with pebbles um i did uh have two little bows in her head last night that came with her the ones that came with her and then i took them I took them out. Um, in her mouth is nicely detailed under her tongue. It has has nice detail as well. Um, there's just a lot of different things that's really nice. Um, I will put Ziggy beside her. And you guys will see. Ziggy is, is really nice. They're just two different, two different babies, you know. Um, I may keep him and make him her twin. He has blue eyes too, but he has a different type of blue eyes. So, and he has a little, he's a little bit more modeled in a different way, but he's beautiful as well. Her hair is, like, she has more full hair. He has more of the, um, barely there hair, um, more sparse rooting type thing. Let's see. So they're, they, they're just very different in their own way. but So I don't mind having two of them. Two of the same kit because they're painted so different yet both nice. You see that? It even, he, it's funny because doesn't he look like a boy and she look like a girl even though she doesn't have a bow in her head? Like, they look, the way that the artist painted them, they both have a different look. It's like the kit looks different. Like, we know it's the same kit, but they almost, you know, have a very defined look. So, pretty cool. I'm really excited. And I think that Ziggy will stay. I'm pretty sure Ziggy will stay. Um, I have admired and loved Gina Dietrich for a long time. And I've always wanted to keep one baby in my collection. And I think that I should just keep him. Sometime when I make purchases, I get crazy and I'll start trying to sell dolls to justify purchases. Um, which I, I didn't try to sell him to buy her uh, I always try to make up money I was trying to make up when I bought uh, Bella but anyway nevertheless I have other dolls that I will sell eventually but Ziggy and Pebbles will be here together and I'm gonna probably have them as twins but they're just I just love them I'm a Bonnie Brown fan though um, I love all her dolls all her you know all her sculpts and stuff like that so and now I really admire these artists work like see uh, Ziggy eyes is his is more of a solid blue hers she has a little bit of brown in so it's pretty cool anyway guys I hope you enjoyed seeing them um his hair is messed up too Let's see, but he like have very little hair, so that's different. And that's the other thing I really love that I can play in her hair. Her hair is like I can just move it with my hands and it just go. 
I don't know what this artist did or what kind of hair she's used, but I've never had anything like it. <laughs> it just kind of, well, I take that back. Um, Marlon, I've had a baby one time before. Her hair was rooted to the point where you could, you know, like swap it any type of way and it kind of moved. But this is just so soft. I mean, it really feels like real baby hair. Like. I mean, I don't know what what she used, but it's it's pretty darn nice. I don't even I don't know if it went so, if it curls up either. I haven't put nothing on it or tried nothing or anything. I'm just like you know, it's only been a few hours, so and I'm not going to do too much to her. She probably won't be a baby that I'll just keep like dressing and dressing and stuff like that because I don't want I don't want her to be messed up. So, um, I won't get into price, but she's very, 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 a very, very expensive baby. And so, um, I don't want to be doing all the extras with her. But she is definitely going to be one of mommy's princesses. Anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. Look at this. Look at these little feet. I love, I just love Bonnie Brown sculpting. It's just so amazing. I think it just makes a world of difference, the sculpting on these babies. They, the, the dolls, it just really, to me, it, it really makes the painting pop so much more. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. I keep saying thanks for watching and then I still keep talking. I'm gone. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment and share this video.